Hello, today we're going to upgrade an AgOpen GPS V2 board to Ethernet. So all you need to do to go to UDP is you get an Ethernet shield, kind of like this one here. And I got this one off of AliExpress and it just plugs in. And then uh, I'll also go through putting in the, um, the uh, UDP firmware for the Nano. So as you can see, my box is getting insanely clustered. So if you go down in this corner right there, that's where the BNO sits. And then you got the Nano, and then you got the ADS uh, 1115 or something like that. And then you've got your uh, relay. I'm not really sure if I was to build any more of these, I'd just put a wire across. I have never used a switch for anything. So this switch switches this relay. So it's it's good for emergency stop, but I really haven't had to do that yet. And then on right here, this thing that I glued to the side of it uh, with double-sided tape, that's the ACS 712. That's for um, like when you grab the steering wheel to disengage. And then hiding way underneath there, that is the Cytron down there. So at any rate, we will get to the um, Ethernet uh, upgrade. And then uh, first thing I gotta do is I gotta drill a little hole right here. And it's like the only place I've got room left to sneak that, that uh, cable out. So I will get that done. I've had to dismantle quite a bit of stuff. So in order to get this in, um, I had to remove this and then this will swing in. You, you could, I'm just have it out because you want to be really careful. It's really to, easy to bend one of these pins. So you want to make sure you're going in as straight as possible. Uh, and then the ethernet end goes the opposite way of the USB end. And then I'll somehow jam this in here. And then I have a cable that'll run out the back of the box here and I'll have to put a little tape on it so it doesn't yank. But uh, yeah, Ethernet was a little bit of an afterthought on this one. So it's how much stuff can you fit in a box before it lights on fire. And apparently I must be right at the limit. So I managed to get it in there. Managed to get this back in there. I've got the uh, ethernet cable coming out the other end here. I think I have some room right here for like maybe another sensor or modification. And I think I have some room like right here, you know, maybe um, I might be able to put like some kind of something in this corner too, but no, I, I'm done. This V2 board has enough stuff on it. Back together. And now I have to flash it with the uh, UDP INO. So I've got my test harness on for testing it later, but we'll go through the steps of trying to um, hook up this and uh, putting the INO into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we will go and we will search, type here and search device manager and sorry for the horrible cell phone video okay so we end up with this list and take a look one two five nine so those are ones that i am not using at the moment so when i plug this in if i can find a usb port and of course they're always upside down there we go so who pops up there you go USB serial CH340, which is the chip on the Nano, on COM8. So that's all I need to know for there. So now we go back to the AgOpen support files. And we go to Arduino modules, UDP, and then Auto Steer UDP. And then we open up the INO and hopefully it opens. I have two versions of um, the Arduino uh, IDE. One works with this and one doesn't. So hopefully I can figure out which one that is. Okay, so here I have the open file and it it's for this one. So we will take a look. 
And then if we took a look down on the bottom, uh, I'm using the cheap Chinese ones. So sometimes you set them up as Arduino Pro or Pro Mini and then on USB and it's got some weird stuff there. So we will go up to the setup. So tools, Arduino or Arduino Pro Mini, that's what I use. And then port. Ah, there we go. And I think it was COM8. Okay, so I did an experiment with this Thinary Nano every off of AliExpress, and now it pops up everywhere. So we will take a look. Okay, of course, doing this late at night, so I forgot what COM port it was, but it is COM port 8. So if we go back up here, tools. Com port 8, yeah, it's not a binary thi Nano Every. Again, that was some goofy thing that I, I got off of um, AliExpress, and now I'm cursed with that popping up all the time. But at any rate, so we've got the right COM port. Um, I know that this has worked before for me for the cheap Chinese Nanos. We've got the right uh, processor. So now, all a guy should have to do is upload. So we go down here and it's doing a bunch of things and AVR dude's doing things. And we got lots of like pound signs, which means it's pounding the data into the chip and done. Thank you. So now we will power it up and we will see what's going on. Disconnected the uh, USB because now this is a UDP machine. It's on the same network as my laptop. So here's this cable, they connect to a switch. And then I've got the power on. And uh, now we're going to connect. So I've got this open, but I should close that and go back to the beginning. And so anyway, you open up your Ag Open, the Ag IO, and you wait. And the magic happens, turns green, it sees it. This is good stuff. So then, we hit the button to open up the Ag Open GPS. All right, so you built your new box and you want to test it out and you don't have GPS hooked up yet. So the very first thing you want to do is go to simulator on. Okay, so now is it really talking? So we take a look up there and we rock it back and forth and it is definitely talking. So my steer box is talking through UDP to the computer, success. And then you can also see like your IMU turns, but now we're gonna do the next thing that uh, everybody has fun with. So you open this, you click on this banner right here, and then you click on it again. And then I think I might've already did this, but we'll do it again. This is the most important button in the whole program. You gotta click that. And then it sends this configuration, however you have it set up, to the Nano. And then we click this. Ooh, and there's noises. What could those noises be? The motor's turning. So, if we move our was, ooh, yeah, there we go. And so this box is ready to go. And I'm getting a, a live number off the ACS. So I'd say this one's good to go. Successful UDP. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.